Hey, Sam from DigiSearch here with another SEO in Excel training video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix a common error that many people will get as you're opening a dashboard that someone else has given you for the first time. So Microsoft Excel will give off an error when a dashboard using pivots and slices and they're connecting to a raw data table in that spreadsheet. Now, as you move that spreadsheet from one folder to another without correctly saving it or downloading it from someone else and then just putting it in a folder, it's going to give off the following error when you try and refresh the data. So if I go refresh data, cannot open pivot table source file. Now that's because I've changed the name of this file to be copy. And so it's trying to open this file, look in this file for data that's actually already in the file that's currently open. So what you have to do is you have to update the source of all your pivot tables. So if I go OK, I'm just going to get unhide these columns from this dashboard previously done in one of the videos. And you can see here one, two, three, four pivot tables that need updating on the right, and then one, two, three here that would need to be updated. So if I click on a pivot table, I can go Analyze, and then it's got Change Data Source. So if I click on that, Go to change data source. See how the table range is set to analytics dashboard 2016-06-12 raw. So this is the table name within this file. But you can see that's obviously a different name. So all you have to do is remove this part of it because raw has still remained the same. So on this tab, if I go cancel quickly, on this tab, you can see that this table table name is raw. So we just need to be able to connect it up with this. So if I go back to change data source, just remove everything but the raw part and go OK, you're going to get an error here. And this is basically saying that the data source of a pivot table connected controls, um, connected to filter controls that are also connected to other pivot tables that cannot be changed. So the issue here is these slices. So you need to first come over to these and any slicer on the spreadsheet, you right click it and you go report connections and you need to untick these and go OK. So previous, it's connected to two previous tables. If I quickly untick them, go OK. And I could do the same with the current one, the two current ones, go OK, change them. And then we've actually got this other one here that I forgot. And so we've got the traffic type. So I need to right click on this, report connections. Now this is connected to conversions, current, previous and revenue visits. So I need to actually remove all of these. So conversions, current, previous, revenue, visits, go OK. And now I can come over back over here, analyze, change data source, change data source, and just remove everything before raw, and you won't get an error. Do that again here, do that again here. And you basically just have to go through all your pivot tables that have data that references the raw tab on the previous spreadsheet. So if you're downloading this spreadsheet from my site or if you're just trying to fix something you've downloaded from another site, just come through and update it the same. Then it will connect the data to the right tab and you will be off and running. So that should be them all now. Now what I have to do is reconnect the slices. So I come in here, it was that one, it was that one, that one, that one, and that one. And previous was previous, previous, previous here. It's previous, uh, oops, sorry, current here was current, current. Click OK. And now if I right click something and go refresh data, it's going to update the data. So you can actually now go in and change the data in the raw tab and it will be reflected in the dashboard. And most importantly, you can actually go in and refresh it. You're not going to get that error anymore and you'll be off and running. So it is super easy to fix. It sometimes is a pain disconnecting and reconnecting your slices here because you might forget what connects to what. But if you quickly take a screenshot of what it's connected to, you can remember it in two seconds and you'll be able to reconnect it straight away without breaking anything. So thanks for checking out the video. I hope this was useful. Enjoy.